everybody. It's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope that wherever you are on the planet today, you are having a gorgeous day. Question. How many of you out there love crystals? Not crystal, me, but like crystals, working with crystals or just having crystals out in your spaces or using crystals in your spiritual work. How many of you guys really, really vibe with crystals. I do. In fact, you could say that crystal has a crystal problem. And I come from a long line of people who liked crystals. In fact, my mother named me Crystal because she loved crystals. So that's why I was named thusly. And I, just as my mother before me, love crystals as well. Now, I wanted to talk to you today about a certain kind of crystal. But before I do, let me just tell you something. Crystals have their, in, their own innate qualities. Each crystal has its own personality, if you will, just as a person has a personality. You never bring a person home and then just assume that person was going to do whatever you told them to do or that that person would just become whatever you told that person to become. No, of course not. They have their own sovereignty. And crystals do as well. Crystals come with their own characteristics. Crystals come with their own kind of programming. Crystals come with their own vibrational calibration. They are their own living, beautiful being. And they're not something that we own. They're, some, they're something that we partner with. They're something that we co-create experiences with. They're our friends. I have crystals back there that I use for very specific things. I've got a big honkin' Lemurian crystal that I use when I channel. I have citrine. I have an amethyst cathedral that I meditate in front of. Like I have all kinds of crystals that I do different things with. And through my intention and my willingness to be in a relationship with those crystals and the crystals themselves being with me, it amplifies everything. Crystals are also fantastic to use as routers. Now, routers are just items that carry a high vibration, and we can set them out in our space, and in particular, we can grid with them in order to keep a space or even keep ourselves or keep our kids at a specific vibration. Crystals are fantastic for that. They will partner with you to protect your house, protect your kids, to allow the vibration of your space, your body, your mind to be elevated. That's how powerful they are. So enough about crystals, and if you aren't into crystals, I don't know, what are, you, what are you waiting for? They're fantastic. But today, I want to talk to you about something called aura crystals, or aura quartz. Now, these are interesting crystals because they start as clear quartz crystals. However, through a process, it's a vacuum type process, the crystals are infused with, and infused is the wrong word because that, that implies that the process penetrates the crystal and it does not. The process does not hurt the crystal or damage its integrity at all. But through this process, the crystal melts with metal. Now this metal can be silver, titanium, gold, copper, but the process allows for there to be kind of a coating over the top of the crystal with this metal. And in case you didn't know, metal also has its own spiritual quality. Copper has a definite metaphysical attribute, and so does gold. It's a different attribute, but it's a spiritual metaphysical attribute. And so when you blend the metal with the existing crystal, you come up with a powerhouse combination. Now you've got the benefit of the spiritual properties of the metal and the crystal. But wait, there's more. Yeah. Through the process, this vacuum process, where the metal adheres to the crystal, a color emerges. Copper brings out a certain color. Silver brings out a certain color. Gold brings out a certain color, and so on and so forth. And some of these colors, let me tell you something, are so saturated and so gorgeous. And color, just like metal and just like crystals, has its own frequency. Red has its own vibration and it's different 
than green, and green is different than blue, and blue is different than pink, and so on and so forth. There are spiritual properties for each color, which is why there are energetic practitioners that actually use color to heal body, mind, and spirit, to heal people. Color is powerful. So now we have not just the crystal, which is programmed and vibrating and at an ascended rate, and also the aspect of the metal, which has its own property, which amplifies and collaborates with that crystal. But now we have an emerging color for the trifecta. And that's what makes aura crystals so powerful. Now, some people say, well, it's a man-made crystal. No, it's not. The crystal is a crystal. The crystal comes from Gaia, it comes from the earth. Yes, it's a man-made process, but it doesn't hurt the crystal, and it allows the crystal to be amplified and to work collaboratively with these other attributes to really do all kinds of things. I mean, if you want to channel, if you want to protect your space, if you want to open your third eye, if you want to open your psychic receivers, if you want to hear spiritual messages, if you want to call in different types of energies, crystals, aura crystals, this combination crystal is, that's cool, sorry. Don't knock over my crystals, sir. That would be terrible. These crystals are especially powerful for doing that kind of spiritual work. Anyway, so I want to show you a couple of these aura crystals that I am working with. I am taking a box, a whole box of crystals, aura crystals, to my retreat. My retreat takes place on August 30th, 2018 in Lovelands, Colorado. I am the host of it. And we are going to have teachers and speakers. We are going to have sacred rituals, but mainly we're just going to have fun. It's going to be a bunch of spiritual people from all over the world just there to fellowship and to bliss out. I mean, it's so beautiful, isn't it, to be with people of like mind. And so that's what the retreat is about. And I'm taking all of these crystals and I'm going to be offering them to these people. I'm going to be rehoming them with these people. I'm not trying to sell you anything at all. I'm taking it to the retreat but I still wanted to share it with you so you can feel the power of these aura crystals. <sighs> Let me show you one of these, okay? Are you ready for this? And I'm gonna get kooky. See, crystals are high vibration. <laughs> They're just high vibration innately, and the combination of the color, the metal, and the crystal gets me kind of kooky, I have to say. So check out this crystal. I'm looking at it in the camera. Hi, honey. <gasps> She's so pretty, and I don't think this is actually doing it justice because you can't really see the pink, what well, kind of, pinky red tones. Yes, get us, girl, with the, with the flash, with the iridescence, with the prismatic nature of it all. Oh, my God, she's so pretty. Now, I'm working with all of the aura crystals, and I'm honoring the innate virtues of the crystal, of the metal, and of the color. And in communication with crystals, all of these crystals. I've been finding out who they are and what they are most powerful at doing, should we choose to work with them. And this crystal, like the first word that she said to me was prosperity, prosperity. And not just monetary, financial prosperity, but abundance and living life to its fullest and understanding that there is enough for everyone. And this crystal is a buster. She busts through things like abundance ceilings, scarcity mindset, limiting beliefs that keep you stuck in patterns where you are not manifesting abundantly and where you're not believing within yourself that you are worthy to be happy and to live life prosperously. Like so many of us have hangups and this crystal I don't know if I can let you go. You're so pretty. This crystal is here to help somebody like, oh my God, like you could be a flower. I, I can't. I get goofy. This crystal is here to help us to bust through those limitations and also become a match for abundance and prosperity. Once we break through the obstacles, you see, now we are a match. We have a higher vibration. We are cleared of the programming and now we can call into the life the prosperity and the abundance and the money and the good fortune that we seek. Isn't she lovely? Sing it, Stevie Wonder. Isn't she lovely? Yes. Well, that's just one of the crystals, and we're still talking. And all of the crystals that I'm taking to the retreat 
I work with them one-on-one, -on -one, and they're actually giving me downloads. And some of the downloads are in the form of number sequences, very curiously. And so I've been working with numbers and gleaning what the numbers actually represent. So for each crystal that I am going to be giving at the retreat, they're going to get a card, they're going to get a name. Some of them are naming themselves. Some are just telling me what their primary attribute is and also the numbers and any message that comes through those numbers. So it's like such a trip. I'm like totally living in the fifth and the sixth dimension, y'all. I'm having fun out here. I want to share another crystal with you. Now this one I already know is not going to show up exactly the color that it is just because of the camera, but I knew the name of this crystal before this crystal arrived at my door. I had had telepathic communications with it. It was already like sending forerunners out to let me know, oh, heads up, here's what I'm coming to do, and I can dig it. This crystal is called or is calling itself Magical Kingdom. Magic Kingdom or Magical Kingdom. And see, this is showing up kind of a pale blue. It's not. It's got this aquamarine green, beautiful, and it's prismatic. It's, it's prismatic. It catches the light within the clusters. I wish you could just really see how freaking gorgeous. You're so pretty. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that, but you're really pretty. Anyway, so Magical Kingdom, and when I was connecting with it, I kept getting flashes, images, and it was all tarot stuff. It was all major arcana. I got the world, I got Wheel of Fortune, and then I got the magician. And ultimately what the communication was, in addition to numbers, sequences of numbers, this one has a hugely long number, which we're going to have to reduce down. It's just crazy. But in addition to that, um, what this crystal represents is the fact that Life truly is a magical kingdom. And you, as the magician of your life, can manifest whatever it is that you want. What is the desire of your heart? Don't you know you can have it? What are your limitations around that? What is your programming around that? Do you see the opportunities? Do you see the serendipity and the synchronicity? Would you like to see more? Would you like more opportunities? Would you like to avail yourself of those and reach the next level? in your life, not just in success, not just in earthly material things, but the next level of consciousness, the next level of enlightenment and understanding that this is a magical place. We're in a magical dimension and there's much more that we can experience if we can open ourselves to it. And that's what this honey right here is here to do. So these two, these are just two. <laughs> I have a lot. My husband's like, you're just getting these crystals so that you can keep these crystals. And I'm like, no, my intention in my heart is to actually allow people to vibe with them and resonate with them. These crystals are seeking their forever home. And not, But if they don't find it, well, then I could be the forever home, absolutely, for sure. That's how in love I am with these crystals. That's how powerful it is. I dream about these crystals and they give me messages. So I am taking these with me. Aura quartz, aura crystals are incredibly powerful. And so I'm going to be imbuing these with complementary energy. I'm going to be infusing these with additional amplification, additional attributes, complementary, all in alignment with who it is that the crystal is, just to make it as powerful as possible. I'm all about attunements and alignments and being an instrument so that people can get to the next level in their lives, whatever that means for you. And so that's the energy that I bring into my work with these crystals. And so they've got their thing going on. I've got my thing going on. We blend the two and then they go to whoever they go to. And then it's just anything's possible and it's all beautiful. So that's what I've been doing. That's just my catch up with you. I hope you've been enjoying yourself and having a wonderful life and I will check back with you soon. I'll try to make videos before I go to the retreat. I'm just very, very busy, but do know that I love you. And also for my patrons on Patreon, I'm going to be uploading videos there 
throughout the month. Um, I already uploaded a video yesterday. If you haven't seen it, do go check it out. I'm going to be doing more, but I'll also be here on YouTube as well. So I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.